Hi, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This idea comes from Pinterest and the name on it, well there is no name, it actually says from Instagram. So somebody liked it on Instagram and put it on Pinterest. To make this card I have got this um, photopolymer set, Magnolia Blooms, and it is out of a booklet experience creativity and it's more like for beginners telling beginners what they need to make cards and I ordered the obviously the magnolia one because I do like the flowers and I'm going to be using the magnolia flower the happy birthday and the leaf inside I think I left blank oh no I'll put a so we'll be using the bud as well let's look at it out and find a block to put it on right So to get started we need, move that out of the way, a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half, three pieces of white cardstock, one for the front, one for the inside and one to do our stamping and cutting out. And I've got some Magnolia Lane Designer Series paper and I've picked the stripes and I'm using the reverse with the Mossy Meadow Green. That would go there. And I've got a bit of linen thread to make our little bow. I'm also using this punch for the sentiment. So to get started we need a piece of the white to do our stamping, which we'll do first, and that is annoying me. The page is curled up on this pad. So, and I will use my piercing mat because my pad is getting thinner. So, we'll stamp the flower. I'll just put that there. There is no dies for this, so oh, that didn't stump. You win a bit there. That's better. Then we need two of these leaves. Clean it off. And the happy birthday, which I will stamp just there. And hope we get our um you call it punch in there and then on the inside piece we will stamp our bud just down there and clean this stamp Good. Right, while they're dry, let's punch this out to make sure it will fit on there. Yeah. Put that 
one side, put that away, don't need that anymore. But what we do need is this, we're going to add the papers. Right, and this we're going to put to the left and about a quarter of an inch in, hopefully equal, top and bottom. And then we're going to glue this and we're going to just pop that a bit on and a bit off. on the glue. Oh no, I need to add this to our card base. And we'll pop that to one side and bring this back in and this back in. All right, what we're going to do is colour in our magnolia and we're going to use Mossy Meadow Light on the leaves. I'll try not to go over the edges. This is where I go nice and quiet because I'm concentrating. Right. Oh, a bit of smoke. No, not smoke. It's like um, soft suede, just for the stem. I want that one got a stem. Um, and a bit of old olive for these bits. Right, and we're going to colour these. We used um, petal pink on that one. Oh, we'll have to use petal pink because that's what colour the paper is. And all I did was just some um, at the bottom of each. I didn't colour the whole flower in. I just brought the ink up from the middle of the flower. Just so you could see the little pink coming up. 
and I'll do the same on the bud. Just add a bit of colour. And then we fussy cut it out. No, it is quite an easy one to fussy cut out. Remember when you fussy cut, let your paper do the moving and keeping your scissors in the same position all the time. And you should be all right. It is easier if your card isn't too big and chunky because you can move it around a lot easier. There's our flower. One leaf and so I'm not even looking to see if this is actually on camera. And that is rubbish. So we bring our card base back in and we place this like that. And our sentiment's going to go under there. with our two little leaves on that side. So all we need now is some dimensionals. I think I'm going to run out of dimensionals. some little ones on it. Don't want my leaves sagging. And one here. Put one in the middle there. And no. Right. So this big flower off first. Oh, you can see that. Right. And I'm 
going to put that and I'm going to actually take that on there I won't waste it because I can use it on another card backs off this and slide that under there straight and glue there's loose on right one with glue on top and the other one we are poking out from underneath and then we'll pop this in And all that leaves us to do is to draw a bow with the linen thread. I don't need a big one, just a nice little one. that there. I'm just going to stick a double glue and stick that in there. Alright, for the gems I have got, I haven't got any more of the pink ones I had on there. I've got these creamy, I've got one pink, but I've got these creamy ones, so I'm going to use these. These came out of Brenda's stash. And we are. One car complete. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And um, if you press the bell icon, You'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.